From Steve Slayton to Pat White to Pat McAfee, they love their mountaineers in Morgantown and in a place known for yan dogs and pepperoni rolls and probably some liquid refreshments. The Mountaineer faithful ready to go here in Morgantown. We've got a terrific matchup for you today, rich in pageantry and tradition, and it ought to be a fantastic clash. As we'll see a squad from the AAC, the Tulane Greenway, taking on a team from the Big 12, the West Virginia Mountaineers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. The Mountaineers will kick it off to get us underway. He'll bring it back looking for help. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. First down here for the offense. They'll try the run. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. So you get stuffed on first down. You had an idea of what you wanted to do on second, but I'm guessing it's back to the drawing board now. Yeah, you, you got to figure out who you are and what you are. Uh, what's your next best play? Or what is the defense going to do? If they've been aggressive? Okay, well, if they've been aggressive, I'm going to throw that deep ball. If they've been sitting back, I might sneak a draw in here. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. These guys are called matchup guys. They're not the biggest guys on the field, but they're going to win. Short, and they're going to catch the ball, and they're going to make yards after the catch. You can tell those are the type of guys in college football that are starting to get maximized and used a lot more than they were in the past. Thompson wants to throw. Holds it in. Coming through that third down conversion, and they'll mark it at the 43. And they just want to give this guy a chance to make a play on third down. And more times than not, he is going to deliver. And he's so good, so efficient, such a good route runner, got the speed, got the complete game. So you definitely want to highlight him, and especially on those downs that matter the most. If something's not open quick underneath, find him. He'll make those contested catches. And he doesn't find much running room, a short gain on the play. Yeah, and the running back didn't get much here, but, you know, you clearly want to always establish the tempo, run the football, be consistent, make that defense physically meet the challenge. Quarterback checking off. Let's see if he can find some room behind the left tackle. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. Third down after the run. From the gun, wants to pass. Catch in the middle, it's Brown. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. And a really good job by the quarterback being very decisive. He saw his matchup, he went for it, he attacked it, got the positive game. I would say he's going to find that guy a few more times today. Comes out throwing on first down. Gets it out fast. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. It must be nice for this quarterback knowing he's got this type of athlete playing the tight end position. That can work the middle of the field for him. He's a guy who can stretch it vertically as well, but this is a guy the QB will look for early and often in this game. Got some room in it. Gets out of bounds after the big play, and they'll be set up in business with a first and goal. And that's why, if you're the offensive coordinator, you've got to find as many ways as possible to get this guy going. Just get him the ball close to the line of scrimmage. Doesn't need to be a throw deep down the field. He's so dynamic. And he's got it! Touchdown, Tulane! Well, you know this offensive coordinator scripts his opening 10, 15 plays, and he didn't even need that. They went nine plays and scored a touchdown. Everything working perfectly. They look like a well-oiled machine early in this game offensively. And that kick was perfectly down the middle. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown.
on the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Offense getting set for first down. He's looking to throw it. Got it in the middle. It's Robinson. And good coverage by the defense. Just a short game. A nice job by the QB there. Timing out that drag throw. It's zone coverage. So he's got to make sure he gets it to his receiver in a window to allow him to catch the ball and then turn it upfield. And the short completion brings up second down. Looking downfield, it's Green. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They I don't really need cover so four here, do I? And mm, that, not really what I need. But I guess we'll do it. Oh, wow. That quarterback wasn't even close. Woo. Fourth down. Here we go. He's punting? People punt online? This is this is unheard of stuff right here. I might do a fake. I should probably look for a fake. No fake. Okay. He, that was a bad punt. Don't touch that. Oh, oh actually, wait a minute. Never mind. Just enough time for that was one a more terrible punt. Out of the gun, they give to the back. There we go. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. We'll get this quarter going with a second down play. Hand off from the shotgun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Yeah, when you get penetration by that defense right away, and there's no way to cut at all for that back, he gets destroyed right away. No way that play was going to be successful. Way too much penetration. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. Fires to the wideout. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. Third and short in college football today, you see so much more pass than you used to. The offense stays aggressive, and I think they stay aggressive because they know they're in field goal range. They got that three in their back pocket. On fourth and seven, analytics, gut, feel, or maybe just wanting to keep the offense out there. They'll go for it. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. And he was just a couple of steps away from taking that one even further after the catch. That's a great example of the receiver knowing exactly where the first down marker is. He got the depth he needed to get, so once he was able to make the catch, he already knew he had it. Now, a fresh set of downs. Here comes Tulane after picking up the first down. Thompson to throw. He looks that one in nicely. And there is nothing doing on that one. You got the completion and nothing else to show for it. They'll line up for a second down play. The aerial assault continues. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. And the big tight end, a lot of times, that's a bigger strike zone, a bigger dude. And you could tell they put the hit on him, and that ball came out, and it came to the turf. Nice job playing physical by this defense. On third down, going up top. Pressure coming. And he tries to get away, but he cannot. He's taken down. He'll lose a couple. It's a two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tackle a little something extra on their lead before the break. 
They're happy enough to try to take the points as the field goal unit heads out. And this will be a 41-yarder coming up from the right side. Didn't make him sweat at all. It's good. Now, there is a flag down on the play, but when you knock through a field goal from that distance and you're not going to get the first down, I think you just keep your points. The defense in a most benevolent move, giving the offense a new set of downs. He'll come out throwing on first down. Dances away. Makes the catch. And to the end zone. Touchdown, Green Wave! Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. So that drive covered 29 yards. And the score comes on a 12-yard touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. West Virginia has it back, ready to dive into that playbook. Not a lot of time left here in the half. Let's see if they can cut into this lead. And this drive isn't a must score, but man, you look at the scoreboard. You're down. He's going for a big play downfield. And it's intercepted. A turnover for the defense. Got some room to run. Running inside the 20. He's out of bounds, showing off the hands on the pick and then the nifty moves on a terrific return. A lot of quarterbacks have so much confidence that they can fit the ball in tight windows. How about the defensive player right here making an unbelievable interception, forcing the turnover, big play, big momentum swing. Feeling some heat. Good run on the play, and he slides to avoid the hit. You know, QBs want to make those big plays. They want to, they want to put up the big stats, but when nothing's there, sometimes you just tuck the ball Get a minimal gain. I like the slide, by the way, too. Get down and don't take a big hit. They'll use the running game on first and goal. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. Now it's second and goal. Thompson wants to throw. Forced out of the pocket. He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. And I really like the decision by the quarterback there. And listen, it's early in the downs. Like, don't force it. Don't, don't make a turnover. He tucks it. Get what you can get. And then live to play the next down. I, I like that execution by the QB. They'll run it on third and goal. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Green Wave! The offense did exactly what it needed to do, getting the ball in field position like that. It's that killer mentality. You step on their throat, you keep your foot down. When you get opportunities like that, they are golden chances to put touchdowns on the board. The offense took care of business. And with the extra point, they're up 21 to nothing. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. So they got the touchdown, and as they kick off, really important for the defense to shut them down here. And he takes this from inside the five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Most people would have been out of here by now, so this is surprising that this guy's still in this game. West Virginia has it in the offense ready to go to work. 
So late in the half, this is really an opportunity, David, maybe to swing the momentum. Oh, I wish we would have thrown it right there. I was ready to pick that off. Ooh, what a juke. Ooh, what another juke. Ooh. I just think this is a point with the offense that they can prove. Like, we're here, we're going to create something now that we can build on in the second half. Coach said all week he wanted to be aggressive. This is a great opportunity to show that right now. At the end of the first half, try and generate I'm running cover four because it's... He must just be ready to go to halftime. Take his 21 up from deficit till halftime. Yeah, that'll work. I should call time. I'm not going to, but I could... If it wasn't a 21 nothing, I'd probably call my time. If I was a 14 nothing, I maybe would call timeouts there, but I'll let it go to halftime up 21. I think, didn't he start the game with the ball? So I might even get the ball here. See, I don't know if this is an example of Tulane being really good or this guy is just not good with West Virginia. I don't know. <laughs> Obviously, oh, I guess I don't get the ball. Okay. I must have started the game with the ball. Kickoff and kickoff return teams on the field, and we're just about ready to go in the second half. Hmm. Here he comes from inside his own five. Oh, this guy. What are we doing? Man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. West Virginia has it back, ready to dive into that playbook. They come into this third quarter with a lot of work they need to get done. Yeah, Running the ball. Okay, I didn't get anything. <laughs> did, uh, did, did Tulane join a different conference this year? I don't even know. Because they were pretty good the last couple of years, haven't they? They've been pretty good. I don't know much about them, obviously. I mean, nothing against them, but this just... Like, why does he keep throwing it? I mean, these guys are all covered. They're just running streaks. I mean, what are we doing here, man? Weirdly enough, I'm only running cover six, which shouldn't actually guard that that well. But he's wide open. Oh, I'm on him. Nice sack. Oh, that's that's all he wrote, yeah. Man, I'm surprised we made it to the second half. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. Well, there's your uh if you want anybody wanna watch Cut Tulane play, I guess, West Virginia. <laughs> In uh Road to the College Football Playoff. There we go.